Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Well, I had a very, very productive March. I think that, like I said, daylight savings starting, having all this extra daylight and sunshine has just truly like opened me up. <laughs> um, I've also been doing that tea talks that I told you guys about in the Goodwill video, the tea me 30 day detox. And honestly, like my energy levels are through the roof. Um, I loved it so much and I was sad um, to see it come to an end, but I wanted to like keep up that energy. So I went ahead and ordered some of their focus blend and I'm really loving that as well. It just helps not necessarily energize me like caffeine would. It just helps me stay focused. Best way to explain it. Um, like I said in that video, I have a, I have a running coupon code with them, ITH15, where you can get 15% off your, uh, purchase. I think any purchase. So I will leave a link in the description box below with that code in case you missed it. Um, I just feel like it's really helped me like just stay on track for the day and get my entire to-do list done. And anytime that happens, I am like, I just won at life. Like adulting is hard <laughs> and getting through your whole list is just like, oh, such a champion. Okay, so, but for the makes for this month, uh, I think you mostly have seen them all except for two. So I will have two new ones to show you guys. But the big, big, big project for this month was the Style Maker Fabrics Spring Blog Tour, Spring Style Tour. Um, honestly, I think she calls it the Spring Style Tour because I'm a vlogger technically and not a blogger. Like I'm the only one that, but I guess some of them don't have blogs. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I'm overthinking that now. Um, but in case you missed it, we'll go over the outfits that I made for the tour. I truly, truly love them all. First up is this pink sweatshirt with the little um, like tie. It's not even a tie. It's like a crossover hem. I am obsessed with this pattern. This is the itch to stitch Nottingham top. You will see more of these. I guarantee it. I love it. That little design is so, so, so cute. Um, I'm also going to do some more videos on um, these makes and like the alterations I made to them. The video um, that I posted for the tour was just like so jam-packed because I had three outfits. Um, but I'm going to go into detail on each one here shortly and um, explain all the details um, that I added, like this contrast band, this little inset, how I did the cuffs, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So Nottingham top is number one. Love it. Um, the major, major development in my sewing this, like, period, major development in my sewing, breaking news, is that I don't hate pants anymore. <laughs> I think what I learned through these pants and also, oh, I feel like there was another pair of pants, but now I can't remember. But if it's not fitted through the hip, if it's only fitted in the waist, I'm good to go. I know how to fit those. I know how to make the correct pattern adjustments, so on and so forth. And I feel very, very confident in making pants like that. But still, like, jeans are just never going to happen. Like, close-fitting trousers, not for me. And that's okay because now I can make pants like this and incorporate, you know, a pant look into my wardrobe um, and I will have made them on my own. So I do have some spring pants planned <laughs> um, with some, like, lighter fabrics and some more, like, casual silhouettes. So I'm excited to try out some of those patterns. But um, this pattern is the Tom and Linda Platt, uh, like, like, wardrobe pattern. It has this little, like, cute top, um, the pants, and a kind of cool jacket that I do want to give a try. But, um... I love this pattern. I, again, will do a separate video talking to you about any um, 
adjustments, alterations, the details about making it and all of that. So look for that. But I've already made another pair. That's how much I like them. And I've worn them, I mean, at least twice a week since I made them. So twice a week for two weeks. I mean, that's a pretty strong testament for anything that you make. Um, so I'm excited. I love this pattern. Thank you, Tom and Linda. Um, okay, so those are the coral pants. The other pair I made are just black. Um, they don't show up super well, but I did film them. I filmed a cute little outfit with the um, Biscayne blouse. Hey, June. Um, so I'll show you guys that here in the next few days as well. Okay, next up was kind of like the highly anticipated garment that I was really, really hoping would work out. And I was so glad that it did. And that is Simplicity 8789, the little, um, what's it called, bodysuit. Um, here it is here in all its glory with the bodysuit on the bottom. Again, I didn't go into a lot of detail about the bodysuit aspect of this in the tour video because I didn't want it to be 45 minutes long, but I have a lot to say about this pattern and um, alterations that I will be making and just thoughts about the fit in general. So if you are interested in making a bodysuit but are kind of like on the fence about it, um, stay tuned for this video. I think that that will be have a lot of good information for you. But I mean, can we also talk about the fabric? It is just perfect. It's a rayon poplin. I love rayon poplin. You guys know that. But every time I make something with it, I'm like, yes, I do love that. You know, it's like validation that I was right about loving it. Like, I love it. Um, so there's that one. Um, Simplicity 8789. And then, ironically, the one that took the longest to make only because I was experimenting with dyeing, D-Y-E, um, while I was doing it is the Berta Style Top, Berta 6313. It's a very simple, basic silhouette, but I could not find any blue trim for, there's supposed to be trim here and trim on the bottom, but guess who ran out of trim? this girl because I was experimenting too much so I just put it on the little sleeves but I really wanted it to be blue to match and you can tell it's like not perfect um but it's pretty close oh that's the back by the way <laughs> here's the front um so yeah Berta 6313 and I will put the little doodad tap this rectangle to go watch the video where all three of these outfits are being modeled. If you haven't seen it yet, um, I'll also have it at the end of the video and in the description box. So um, if you want to see that, go check those out. But again, more info coming on all four of the garments that I just mentioned, including fit, um, pattern alterations, thoughts, opinions, what I'll do next time, all that kind of stuff coming soon. This is such a fun sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, next up is So My Style. So if you remember, I don't even remember. Did I do January? I don't think so. Did I do February? Actually, I think I did do January, but I don't remember what it was. I think I skipped February. March was cardigans, and they had like the Blackwood cardigan and the something else cardigan. Honestly, I do want to make the Blackwood cardigan. I just... I don't know. I wasn't into it. So instead, I did make a cardigan, just not one of the ones they're recommending. I'm actually wearing it now. And it is Berta 6336. I made it almost exactly like this version here. I'm going to do that into a whole video so that you guys can get the usual pattern review that you always get. But um, these two were my first ever Berta paper patterns. And I kind of have a lot of thoughts about Berta patterns. Um, have you ever made Berta patterns before? Would you be interested in knowing a little bit more about them and like how they work? Um, it is a little bit different than any other pattern I've ever sewn. Um, so let me know if you have any specific Berta questions and I'll try and include those. But I think I'm about, I'm thinking about doing like a Berta 
first impression, like just a Berta review, not necessarily on any one pattern, but a review on Berta patterns in general. Would that be interesting to you guys? Um, so anyways, so this little cardigan, yeah, love the cardigan. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, you'll learn more about that here shortly, but hopefully the little snippet of the modeled uh, video that I showed you was enough of a little tease. And then, yay for me, I got back on the refashion train and I finally finished this dress. So if you remember, this was a 2XL dress, very similar silhouette. I just basically altered it. I just took it in by one, two, three, four, five, six, no, 12 inches. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. I took it in by a lot. Um, but it's the same silhouette. Um, nothing really changed regarding that, um, except it fits now. Um, so I will have a new refashion to share with you guys in my plans video, kind of um, like the original garment, what I'm planning on doing with it, you know, so on and so forth. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for that. It is a super cute fabric, which is what I loved about it. Um, kind of like a little double knit. Uh, so, so yeah, I don't know that I'll do a video on this one. There's not much to say. Do you guys want a video on this? Maybe you want to know how I did it. I don't know. I just took it in. <laughs> Sometimes like when it comes to like making videos, like, I don't know. Sometimes bloggers can just put in a ton of pictures and then that's like the blog post. But with video, you really have to say something. And sometimes there's just not much to say. Would you guys like, um, like just video with like a musical, like montage type thing without me talking? Let me know. I'm always, always, always looking for ideas. And if they come from you guys, they move to the top of the list. Like my ideas, I think are pretty good, but your ideas are like the ones that get produced the quickest. So let me know if you think just like watching me pose in this with music and not a lot of words, um, would be interesting to watch. Um, that actually sounds kind of creepy. I won't judge you. I won't think that you're like creepy. Um, anyway, so yeah, those are my makes. I ended up making four, five, six things in March, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, oh wait, actually there's a seventh. I would be remiss if I did not mention my April Fool's Day joke. <laughs> the really fun swatch top. You guys, I had so much fun watching your comments come in. I know I've already said it before, but I just have to reiterate how much fun that was. And for those of you who are like, it's cute, I would totally wear it. I think the part that you're missing is that all the fabrics are completely different. Like if they were all one weight, one type, one substrate, that would be one thing. But like literally I have sweatshirt fleece right here next to wall. Like, or no, this is even, this is like a jersey. Sweatshirt fleece, this is like a wall here next to that rayon poplin that I used. And there's holes in it. <laughs> so like you wouldn't wear it, trust me. If you saw it in person, you would be like, oh yeah, no, that that is not wearable. And I mean, look at the inside, hot mess express. But I do love how I took like extra time to like, bias buying the <laughs> the edges I don't know that's the only way I knew to do it quickly it's faster to me anyways yeah it's a mess on the inside you would not want to wear this so anyways this one was a lot of fun I'm already writing down ideas for maybe I shouldn't say this but I'm already writing down ideas for April Fool's next year because I had so much fun tricking all of you I don't know I guess pranks innocent um the har unharmful, innocent, unharmful pranks are fun. Super fun. People on Instagram, though, were cracking me up because for whatever reason, a lot of people on Instagram just scroll through and they don't actually click through to the video. And on Instagram, I specifically did not reveal that it was um, April Fool's. So you should go read the comments on that post. It's really funny. You can absolutely tell who um, did not go watch the video and who were just commenting on 
the picture that they scrolled on by. So anyways, that was a lot of fun. But yeah, so very happy with how March turned out with my sewing. Let me know what you sewed in March. Um, if you've got a blog or a vlog or an Instagram, leave that information in the comments so I can find the things you're making. I love to see. Um, and stay tuned for a lot more videos. Like I just explained, I have a lot more content coming. I'm feeling completely revitalized and spring has sprung and I'm just back to my usual non wintry blues self, which is great. Um, so I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.